Are you having problems with your NVIDIA container taking too much CPU usage or disk usage? Well, in this tutorial, we're going to fix it. Welcome to Jimodism Total Notary Channel. What you'll need to do first is you'll need to uninstall NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This actually has some background processes that the searches for games might cause high disk usage and also CPU usage. The background services um, do take a lot of resources and if you don't really need them, if you don't really use them like broadcasting and recording using NVIDIA Shadowplay and things like that, you should definitely uninstall NVIDIA Experience. To do this, you'll go to the control panel. The control panel is most easily accessible using Windows Search on the Windows menu. Inside of the control panel, you can change the view by to large icons. Then you'll select uninstall a program or programs and features. Click on N and you'll find NVIDIA. Here you can find the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Click Uninstall. The NVIDIA GeForce Experience isn't needed in any way for your graphics card to drive. It suffices with having the correct drivers. Installing the correct drivers manually you can easily do. We have several tutorials on that and check in description. You should also be able to uninstall NVIDIA GeForce Experience from the settings, applications and features right here. But it's basically the same. Keep in mind that NVIDIA GeForce Experience might be handy and all, but it is not actually needed for your system to run optimally. No, if you don't use the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, it actually inhibits your performance by hogging too much disk or CPU usage. If you want to update your driver the most simple way, you can right click the Windows icon or click Windows key X and then you'll go to Device Manager. Inside the Device Manager, you'll get your graphics cards and other components inside the computer. The graphic cards are under Display Adapters. Right click on your display adapter and click update driver software. Then you'll choose search automatically for an updated driver software and just follow the instructions from there. Usually new NVIDIA GeForce drivers also come with Windows Update, but it can be a good thing to install it here. Even better, you can do a manual install of NVIDIA drivers by going to NVIDIA's homepage. We have a tutorial that explains this in more detail. Check it in the description or cards. After doing all these steps, you should now have no more further issues with high disk usage or high CPU usage from NVIDIA Container Services. I hope this tutorial helped you and well, check out our manual driver install tutorial if you want to know a little bit how to get in that. If you install your drivers manually, you will get a little bit better performance because you don't need all this bloatware like NVIDIA GeForce Experience and other softwares to keep your drivers up to date. When you have manual update, you have more control over the system and that also gives you a little more room to do what you want with your computer experience. Hope this video helped you and see you in future videos. This is Jimonism Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.